Hi, good afternoon. My name is Dolly Epshaw. I'm an independent consultant for Paparazzi Accessories and Jewelry. My consultant number is 92215-92215. And I did a video not too long ago while I was waiting on my jewelry to come in. And since then, I feel like I've really accomplished a lot. So if you're new at Paparazzi and you just ordered your kit and you're waiting for things to come in, this is a good time to really use some of the resources that the people from your upline has sent you, such as your training videos and training materials. And that really helped me get excited about paparazzi and also work on the little detailed things because I'm a kind of a detailed person and I like things to be a certain way. And so I really wanted to work on the presentation. I was already sold on the jewelry. So I really just wanted to start working on how I was going to present it and how I was going to market the jewelry. I don't really like using the term sell because I think the jewelry speaks for itself. It's, it looks good. It's high quality to me. It, it feels good. And I get a lot of compliments. Um, I'm wearing uh, some paparazzi jewelry today and my paparazzi earrings that go with it. And I'm just in a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. And I ran my errands today wearing paparazzi jewelry and got a couple of compliments on it, which really kind of opened up the gateway for me to give them my business card and talk to them a little bit uh, about the jewelry and about the company. So one of the things I did, if you're still waiting on your kit to come in, your upline has probably sent you a lot of information for you to go over. And I really suggest that you go over it. And to be honest, when I first started getting it from my upline, I was overwhelmed. And so a couple of things, I kind of looked through it and I was like, oh, I got this, I got this. I'm really good with the computer. I can do certain things. Uh, was looking through it. And then I decided uh, as I began to get my material part of my business together, I went back and went through all the training videos again from my upline. In addition to, if you're watching this video, I watched a lot of my other consultants out there. I watched their videos and watched how excited they were about paparazzi and watched and learned a lot of different things along the way from them that I could pull in and use in my business as well. So one of the things that my upline uh, sent me, and I don't know how it's gonna see, show on your screen, but I actually um, got a worksheet, and that looks like it's totally upside down. That is really kind of crazy. But it is a uh, reporting goals and why. And so one of the things it asked was, what are some of your short-term goals that can be accomplished in the next three months? And I thought, and this is something that you create yourself, and I was able to do this while I was waiting on my jewelry when I was thinking about what is it that I would like to accomplish. And so one of the things I wanted to do was set up my business office. And that means getting on the website and really learning about the paparazzi website and how it works and how to order jewelry, um, how to uh, see clients that have ordered from you and how you can send them a thank you note or a free piece of jewelry and through that uh, when I set up my Facebook page I put on my Facebook page the first person to buy jewelry from me I will send you a free piece of jewelry if you order from my website and I had um, a friend that I've known for several years go online and order $25 worth of jewelry and in return I was able because she ordered from my website I was able to get her address and I sent her a free piece of jewelry I actually sent her a a bracelet from my inventory so that was one of my goals that I had was to set up my back office so right there even though I gave away a piece of jewelry I hopefully gained a new client as well the second goal I had was to set up my social media accounts which I did I set up a business page that was separate from my Facebook page because reading the other uh, trainers from my upline, they highly suggested that uh, not bombard your friends as much. Of course, you want to bring your friends and introduce them to paparazzi if they don't know anything about it. But also don't get it to the point where you're going to annoy them and they're going to delete you off of Facebook. Because then you want them to either like or share. And so another thing I did was a like and share, 100 like and shares by the end of the week. And that really helped get my business going and at least a social media presence. Um, 
Another short-term goal I had was within one week, give away two pieces of jewelry, which that was really easy. The person that bought from my um, online store through my Facebook post, I was able to give her a piece of jewelry. And then I gave my um, librarian a piece of jewelry. Um, I went into the library and I took my grandson in. He was there for like a, a book reading. And I had my business flyer and my business card that I wanted to post in our community board. Well, in order to do that, the librarian has to approve it. And then she puts the date and how long I can keep it up there. And she's like, what is paparazzi? I was like, ah, oh, you know, paparazzi is this really cool, fun jewelry. And I was like, I like your jewelry. I see what you got on. And she's like, would well, you have a business card? So lesson number two or three, I don't know which one I'm on, is always carry your business cards with you because that's your opportunity to introduce them to paparazzi. I said, I only brought, you know, this one to put on the board. I said, but I will be back. I'll, I'm gonna come back and bring it to you because I think you'd really like it. She's like, oh yeah, I would like to see it. So I actually went home and um, got a business card and I got another, uh, I got her a ring that I had in my initial uh, inventory and I took it back and gave it to her and asked her to wear it and share it take a picture um, so I felt like that was a really good lead and my son even told me on the way back he said mom you need to keep things in your car to give to people and um, I know I'm giving away my jewelry I'm, I'm hoping I'm gaining a client or future clients uh, in the meantime and even though this is kind of a startup I know that sometimes uh, I may have to give away in order to uh, earn a client or it could just be a compliment from another friend and they say hey where did you get that oh I got this from the lady that came in you know to, and posted something so that was another lead and I'm kind of getting out of my comfort zone I, I had another goal to uh, pass out 10 business cards in a day and I went to so many places, like I went to Hobby Lobby, I went to our HEB, I live in Texas, um, I was at the library, and I literally, it seemed like everywhere I look, it's kind of like when you're pregnant, and of course I haven't been pregnant in a very long time, but I'm just saying when you're pregnant, I'm just keeping it real, it seems like when you're pregnant, everybody's pregnant. And it seemed like when I had my business cards, I would see women with jewelry, and I'd say, give it to her, give it to her. And I was just so afraid and intimidated by just being rejected. So um, I was unsuccessful that day. However, um, the more I watch YouTube videos of my other um, independent consultants, teammates, I am learning that it's normal to uh, get rejected. I may get nine no's before I get a one yes, and I'm okay with that. I'm getting okay with that. And I'm able to give out, I gave out four business cards today. It wasn't 10, but maybe I need to just change my goal to maybe 10 um, a week. So, um, and the other thing I had was to attend an event. Uh, and so I paid my booth fee for this past weekend. But as many of you know, um, the Hurricane Harvey hit the coast of Texas. And I am in South Central Texas. And we got a lot of rain in San Marcos. Uh, we flooded two years ago. And so it just rained all day, all night Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. And I did get an email from the event coordinator that said my, my booth fee will carry over to next month uh, or I could come pick it up. And I said, no, I'll be there in the next month. And I just think that is, I'll be more prepared. Uh, I didn't realize that my inventory was so low because when I started, I did the $99 kit. Uh, in hindsight, um, knowing how excited, uh, I, I wish I knew just how much fun this was going to be. I really would have invested in the bigger kit, but that's okay. Um, you know uh, whether or not this is something that you're going to uh, spend a little bit of time doing or you're really going to go full out and do it. So going back to what my upline sent me was my goal sheet, and I thought that was really uh, important to do and maintain. So uh, just, I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, the other thing is any materials or documents that your upline sends you, one of the things I did was I printed it out. And I printed out the materials. And um, along with that, I put it in a, this really cool pink 
my kids call it my paparazzi binder. So I put that in there and information that they gave me. So when I, I put this uh, in my little backpack that I have, so when I go somewhere or I meet somebody, I have a lot of my materials right here and I don't have to scramble or look like I'm not very organized or put together. And even preparing for this video, just taking notes and writing the date down. And the other great thing that you're gonna get when you do get your uh, kit in is your planner. And um, I am using this to the fullest. I already have dates and plans uh, put in there. It's really good. I recommend you use pencil. And before I retired from the military, uh, I mean, after I retired from the military, I taught. I just recently retired um, this year, and I always used a planner for uh, scheduling out events for the year. So I recommend you use pencil, because pencil you can erase, pen you can't. And I have my school planner, similar to the paparazzi planner that I've had for about seven years. And every year I just erase and then start my calendar over. So another tip, just try to write in pencil. It's easier to erase and you can keep this for a long time. It's pretty good. Actually, it's an excellent product. Speaking from someone that's used planners uh, on a daily basis as a, a teacher. Um, the other thing is I use a Gmail account and I also have a Yahoo account. When I first started, I had my Yahoo account. So I think this is super important. So through the training material, they set up an account that reflects your business and how people can reach you, especially on like Facebook and other social media. When I started, I didn't have that. I learned that afterwards. So now you're hearing it from me. Go ahead and set up a Gmail account that reflects something about paparazzi or your business. I'm paparazzi uh, accessories by Dolly. And that is my email at gmail.com. Uh, prior to that, I used my Yahoo uh, account, which was my personal account. So a lot of my training material came in through Yahoo. And I can share it and save it and move it. But what I decided to do, and another tip I want to give you, is to create a folder if you, uh, when you're first starting out. And then put all that training material. Just click and drag it and put the training material in there so you have it for quick reference. And when you bring someone else on, um, sign them on to be in your downline, you'll have easy access to some of that material where you can answer their questions. I'm thinking, I don't have anybody yet, but if you're interested, it's paparazziaccessories.com forward slant 92215. Hit me up and I'll sign you on. You'll be part of my team. Uh, the other thing I found in my training videos from my upline, I found these little, what I called nuggets. So embedded in the training was again what I would call nuggets and sometimes the training videos would just mention some websites or mention some different things and so one of the things that I found out about is and if you um, send me a message I will give you my little nugget that I found on how you can find events in your area so you may uh, email me at paparazzi by dolly at gmail.com and I will send you the link on how to find festival information in your area based on your zip code, your state, and how many miles in the radius that you would like to cover. And I think it's a good tip that I found in there, but it's also another way that I can meet you and connect with you and hopefully, you know, get you started and maybe um, just take a look at the jewelry, see if it's something that you're interested in. Again, that's paparazzi by Dolly at gmail.com let me see last thing so one of the things my upline challenged me in was to create a YouTube account and to post videos this may or may not be very good but hey I'm learning and I'm new at this and so when I was looking at my YouTube video um, I noticed that my background to the video the the artwork to the background I didn't really like it that much and so I was digging around and I found a really cool website. It's www, which is World Wide Web, dot Canva, C A N V A dot com. It is a free website and 
you can, when you get in there, it has actually banners that you can create that specifically for YouTube because YouTube uh, specifies a certain uh, pixation that you have to use to have those banners uh, for your YouTube channel. So, and it does some other things too. Again, it's www.canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. And it's free, 